Hey guys, it's Banana Face here, and today I am playing Skyblock again. Now, there's been uh, quite a bit of changes, quite a bit of things I need to explain, sort of hold on. Alright, first thing is that I kind of made this a little bit prettier, our dining area. Um, I made a little stove, kind of, for my furnace, my chest and crafting table have an area. I have a bed as well, kind of covered up. Also, I don't know if I had this in the last episode, but I made a jack-o'-lantern with all my pumpkins. Um, something else I, I did is I moved the cobblestone generator. It was over here. But that was burning down my tree farm. So I had to move it. I built this platform. And I moved it over here. I have chests for all my cobblestone. Uh, I also have a chest for all my wood. I have a lot of wood. Um, what else? Uh, when I moved my cobblestone generator, I realized there was one block of grass right here. Uh, it was this one. And I didn't have any other grass, so I let it. And I'm leading it over here to this platform. And I'm going to fence it in. And hopefully we can spawn some uh, mobs like chickens and... Uh, cows or whatever so we're just waiting for that I also made this platform because today we're gonna build a mob spawner we're gonna build a bad mob spawner for like skeletons and everything so I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet I haven't decided but it's gonna be just a dark room uh, where we can kill some mobs um, also I extended this I uh, extended all that and extended this a tiny bit. And the last thing I did is I put a chest off in the distance in creative. I've easily switched to creative and I put this chest there and I put in it two grass blocks, one mycelium block and a wheat seed. Um, if this isn't in the real version, then uh, too bad, so sad. But I just put them in there because there's no possible way I was going to be able to get them. So I just did that. Whew, I'm already out of breath. So yeah, we have all these trees and I didn't plant them all because uh, I need to get this grass some light to grow. So I'm just waiting. Um, looks like we spawned another big tree. That's kind of annoying because they're hard to get to. So first things first, we need to uh, fence that in, actually. So I'm going to get some... Nope, a cobblestone's over here. I also slabbed in the whole place uh, so I wouldn't fall off anywhere. Wait, what am I doing? No, I don't want to do that. I just made some useless slabs. What I am doing is making an area for the fence. I'm sorry if you hear footsteps in the background, that's just my dog who doesn't know when to go to sleep or just lay down. All he does is walk and walk and walk. It's so annoying when I'm filming. So I'm just going to put the fence post on top of this cobblestone. Uh, so the 225 uh, title update came out, title update 25. And it's pretty awesome. It added stained glass blocks, which is pretty cool. And uh, stained glass panes. Um, it added some other things, but not a lot. But one thing it did add is in survival, if you, you can go to host options. And you can change a lot of things now. You can change it day or night. You can change the difficulty. You can change the game mode. You can change the spawn points. You can change the weather. And that's it. But that is so cool. And uh, if you're playing, if you have two more or more people in 
your creative world, you, you don't all have to be in survival anymore. One person can be survival, another can be in creative. It's really cool. So we're going to go to bed. And then we are going to put the fence around the uh, mob area. Let's get our wood out, wood planks. Might need some more. Hold on. Um, oh, that's not how it used to be, is it? That's no fun. It used to be just sticks, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to make some sticks and have some wood too. Alright, wait, one you, and another thing. Oh no. I need some more. I'm gonna wait to place the fence gate, because I don't know if grass will grow if it's still there. Or if the fence gate is there. So there's some really cool stuff happening behind the scenes for our channel. We are working on so, uh, fixing a camera, or my phone really, onto our dirt bikes so that we can film us riding. It's going to be fun. We're just going to do that until we get a GoPro because we are going to get a GoPro in the future uh, for riding purposes. Alright, so we got the fence around there. Um, we should cut down these trees, except that's going to be really annoying to get to. I'm going to have to do that off camera just to uh, save some time. Alright, well, we are going to make our mob spawner room using cobblestone. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do for it. What I do know is I'm going to need some more. Oh, I'm going to need some trapdoors, I think. Okay, you need wood for trapdoors, not sticks. I don't have any wood. That's all I'm going to need. So, it's going to be, it's going to be dark in there. And it's going to be one layer off the ground. So, I'll like, I'll, all I will see is their feet and I can punch them. I once made a PE, mob spawner PE, where there was a giant room up there, and then I just fell down and broke their legs and died. I could do something like that. I think I will, actually. It's just going to take a lot of cobblestone, so probably not going to finish that today. We're going to need a pickaxe. Need a four by four area. Oh, it's not even. Oh, that's okay. 
We'll just do a four by five area. That looks fine, I hope. All right, now we're just gonna build up. I didn't think about this. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do just for building, I'm gonna make an infinite water source down here. Because I'm going to be building these walls up really high, and I'm going to want to be able to jump down into the water. Let's get rid of this bucket because we don't need it. And we'll start climbing. One, two, three, four. That's four up. So we want to go 64 up. So really 59 from here. We want there to be five left in this stack, if we can. We don't need to go that high, do we? No, this should probably kill them. That's probably good. All right, couple blocks. Thirty blocks up. Or this is thirty-one actually, I think. So let's just break one. So I believe we are uh, 30 blocks up. That should kill him. Oh boy, hold on. So we were five, six. And then I need, so I need 24 more. Calculations were off. I believe that is uh, 30 up. Or not be. We're going to need some more cobblestone for this build. Alright, so if you don't understand, basically up here at the top, up here there's going to be a big room, it's going to be pitch black, and then mobs are going to spawn up here, and there's going to be a hole in the ground that's going to lead down here. Now normally the water is not going to be here, so they'll just break their, or they'll, the fall damage will kill them. That is my master plan. And if it doesn't kill them, we'll have some trapdoors here so we can just punch them out. We can use the. We're not gonna really need air. Alright, we're gonna go mining just a little bit. That's not.
just for a little bit. Alright, we broke our tickets. Okay. I'm gonna end the video soon. Sorry, this was kind of a boring one. Hopefully in the next episode this grass will be over there so we can try to spawn some mobs. Or some good mobs. We're just waiting. Um... Everything else is doing good. Good, good, good. Might as well take this cactus. I don't know how much or what it can do for us. Nothing really. Alright. So let's go to bed here. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, Hopefully I have a lot more cobblestone and we can finish that up and hopefully the grass will be over here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't seen the second episode yet, then click on the bed where I sleep to watch the second episode of Skyblock, the this is episode 3. And if you really enjoyed it, and you want to uh, see new videos every week, then click on the pumpkin to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye.